Hello everyone. Welcome to the demonstration of AppSy Connect. In today's demonstration, I will be showcasing you how to integrate your online WooCommerce store with your back office ERP Dynamic Business Central via AppSy Connect. Well, we have a demo WooCommerce site and demo database company which will be used for this demo purpose. So I will start by the customer synchronization and for that I need to create a customer in WooCommerce. So and the customer sync will be taking place from WooCommerce to Business Central direction. So let's go back to the WooCommerce site and let's create a new customer or a new user. Uh, and I'm filling the mandatory field. Like the, I have to put a username of course. And let's add the first and last name of that user. A valid email ID has to be put in. Once you have added all of uh, mandatory fill, let's scroll down and you have to change the role from subscriber to customer. And let's add new user. So the user is added. Now I'm going back to going to the user. Uh, let's expand that. So that I can add the address. So I'm now adding the address. Uh, you can add different billing and shipping address for this uh, demo. I'm just skipping one address as a default address. You have to uh, add a, a valid zip code, of course, and valid address need to be put in. Once you have added all the details, let's just update the user. So the customer is created in WooCommerce site. Now I'm going back to the server where the AppSy Connect agent is installed. Um, so this is the AppSy Connect agent, which is a, a light weighted software. Uh, basically all the data integration take place here. And uh, from WooCommerce to uh, Dynamic Business Central direction, you can find there is an integration point that is customer add. Before the synchronization, the, uh, you just have need to uh, you just have to trigger that. Uh, you can see there are two type of trigger button. One is automatic and one is manual. So if you want to make it automatic, you just need to set a time so that after the particular time, data will sync automatically. No need to uh, trigger the button manually. So and uh, the details regarding the synchronization that whether it is success or not, you can find in the racing bucket. So and it's showing success that means the data is synced successfully and if there is any failure then the details regarding the failure uh, the messages will show in will show in the log file this is a log file of AppSy Connect agent. Now I'm going back to the business central RTC where under the customer section let's find the customer which I have created and let's see whether it is synced or not. So this is the customer which I have uh, created in um, in WooCommerce. It's successfully synced now with all the uh, mandatory details which I have provided in which I have provided in Book, uh, WooCommerce. So this is the address like the phone number and email ID all are available. And so basically, I can say that the customer is synced successfully from WooCommerce to Business Central part. Now I'm going to create a new item in Business Central and synchronize that from Business Central to uh, WooCommerce direction. So let's create an item. So I'm going to the item part where I can add a new item. So let's add a new item. You have to put a description of course. So I have added the description. Now you have to add uh, all the mandatory field. Uh, so let's add a unit price for this uh, product. And after adding all the details, uh, there is a section that is AC application item list. You have to choose the application ID. Uh, well, Business Central uh, can connect with various type of e-commerce site like Magento, like Shopify and WooCommerce. So, uh, to make um, for every uh, e-commerce site, there is an application ID for WooCommerce that is 6. So, you have to choose 6 and after that, this web item flag need to be checked. And after that, let's go to uh, web product 
detail CP page where you can add description of course so let's add a description and after that this uh, check boxes need to be checked okay so I think all the details I mean all the mandatory uh, field are has been put in so let's click ok so I have created the uh, item in business central now I'm going back to the agent where uh, from business central to WooCommerce direction there is an integration point that is product ad let's trigger that now I'm going back to WooCommerce and let's find the item under the product section so this is the item which I have created in business central is uh, successfully synced let's expand that so that I can show you that that all the details like the description is uh, is present in uh, available in WooCommerce now and it's uh, this our price also synced and so uh, so the uh, so I can say that the product synchronization is successfully done now let's going back to the business central and let's uh, update the inventory of that product which I have synced so let's I'm uh, going to the item journal part and I'm just upgrading the inventory here I have to choose the item So item is added once you have added the item let's add a location code rather I can say the uh, warehouse now I'm updating the quantity once you have added all the details let's just post that so I have added um, the inventory or I have updated the inventory in business central now let's just sync the inventory so this is the integration point stock update you just Need to trigger that before the synchronization and after that let's go to product and let's check whether it is successfully synced or not so it's successfully synced with the quantity you can see that the status of the stock has been changed from uh, out of stock to in stock with the quantity now I'm going uh, to the order part where I'm going to place an order in WooCommerce and sync that from WooCommerce to Business Central so let's go to order so let's add a new order I'm placing an order by the name of the customer which I have synced before and you have to add a state of course and after choosing the state I'm going to the product I mean I line item part let's add a item or product Uh, you can add uh, shipping charges also for this uh, product so I'm just adding the shipping charges for this demo I'm using flat rate you can add different shipping charges okay I have added all the details now let's just create that so I've placed an order in WooCommerce now I'm going back to business central and let's find the order uh, before that I have to synchronize I mean trigger the sales order uh, integration point once it has been successfully synced let's go to business and central part and let under the sales order you can find the sales order So I'm finding the sales order by the name of the customer. So you can see the sales order is successfully synced. Let's, uh, let's just quickly expand that so that I can show you that uh, the details which I have mentioned in sales order in WooCommerce, uh, it's successfully synced. Like you can see that the customer details is available now in Business Central. And let's scroll down so you can see the line item also available and whatever I have mentioned in WooCommerce is synced now so now I'm just converting the sales order into shipment and invoice and sync that uh, shipment uh, uh, from business central to WooCommerce direction and once the shipment is done I will go for the invoice part I'll sync the invoice from business central to uh, WooCommerce direction so let's just create the shipment and invoice so I have created the shipment and invoice in Business Central and I'm going to the 
AppSeConnect agent and from Business Central to Commerce Direction, you can find shipment add integration point. Before that, I'm just showing you that uh, let's go to the order part. So um, it's uh, the status of that order is now pending payment. So after the adding the shipment, it will change. So let's let's trigger the shipment add integration point. So the shipment add uh, synchron the shipment synchronization is successfully done. So let's just refresh this page and you can see that the status of that order is uh, has been changed now to from uh, pending payment to processing so i can say that the shipment synchronization is done now i'm just synchronize the invoice status add uh, after the synchronization i'm going to woocommerce part and let's just refresh page and you can see that the status of the order has been changed from uh, uh, it has been changed into completed so the invoice synchronization also has been done so uh, these are some in integration point which I have provided which I have created for this demo if you have any any queries regarding that you can directly contact with us thank you so much